Hey everyone, it's Cindy from Cindy Lou Stitching Corner here on Floss Tube. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm really sorry I haven't been on here since October 23rd. So it's been a while, two weeks ago. Um, yeah, um, before I get going, The Walking Dead. <laughs> I have no words. It was just horrible. That was the most brutal episode I've ever seen in my life. It was brutal. I literally screamed at one point and my son came out, Mom, are you okay? But it just, it upset me so bad. I was just like, oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm a little bit over it. I DVR'd the last two episodes, so I haven't had a chance to watch them. I don't think I'm going to watch them just yet until I'm almost over it. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, so this is my second time trying to make this video. The first time I did, it cut it off because I didn't have enough room on my iPad. But I fixed it, so hopefully I can get through and uh, not have to put them together because I'm still kind of learning this whole, you know, video editing and stuff. Um, so today is, oh my gosh, I was going to say October. Today is November 8th. It's your election day in the U.S., um, and their results are going to be in. The first polls close in three minutes. So I'm really hoping that, you know, it's good results. Get rid of that, uh, stupid he who shall not be named. I no longer wish to talk about him on my channel. He who shall not be named is, uh, named after Lord Voldemort, if anyone is a Harry Potter fan. Um, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, he's like a Dementor. He who shall not be named. Dementor. Idiot. <laughs> okay, okay, I promised I wouldn't do that. Alright. Um, so before I go on with my video, there are three people that I want to send my best wishes to. Um, the first is Stitcherista. Um, Stitcherista. I am very sorry for your outcome of your biopsy. Um, I know that from watching you in your videos, you appear to be a very strong woman and I wish nothing but the best for you. Um, cancer sucks, man. It just, it sucks. You know, it's affected my family, both my, uh, my grandmother on my mom's side had breast cancer herself. My grandmother's sister on my dad's side had breast cancer and my dad's sister, so my aunt, had breast cancer, so it sucks. Um, so due to that, due to the fact that you were so honest when you came out in your video, I've decided that I'm going to get a mammogram. Um, I'm a little over 40 and uh, I love my life, I love my kids, I love my husband. So. I really should take care of myself and just make sure that I am uh, I'm safe and I'm healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and, and have one done. I don't care how painful it is if they can figure out, you know, what's going on. If anything is going on. Um, oh, Felix. Um, so yeah, um, I'm definitely thinking about you and I send you a virtual hug and I hope everything will be okay for you. And I'll definitely pray for you. Um, the next is Jessie Marie from Jessie Marie Does Stuff. I'm so glad you're back. I missed your videos. I miss seeing your projects and what you're working on. I missed your dog, Thor. He's so cute. Um, he's he's cute. Um, my puppy, she's stretched out on the couch right now. She's having a little snooze. Um, so yeah, I, I'm glad that you're back. I'm glad that you didn't let any bully get in your way of doing what you love to do. Because the past two weeks, myself, I felt like, oh my gosh, and I had my projects laid up beside me, and I uh, like on the my table, and my husband was like, "Are you gonna put those away?" And I said, "No." I said, "I want to, uh, I want to show them on floss tube, and I need to make a video." So I know, I'm glad you're back. The last one is for Mackenzie from the Lovely Array. I'm very sorry for everything that you're going through as well with your dad, and with you. Your anxiety. I wish it wasn't that you. I wish you didn't have that because it's not a fun thing to have. 
I know how you're feeling. So I wish you nothing but the best. Um, I, even though you personally don't know me, and I hope you're watching this video, I think, you know, I think you're a nice girl. And I felt horrible that you were going through that. Anxiety sucks. It just sucks. Um, along with cancer, it just sucks. So, at this point, I, you know, I just wanted to say I wish you nothing but the best. And uh, I'll be thinking about you and rooting for you. And you come back to Floss too when you're ready, okay? So now I'm going to show you. Oh, and there was one other thing I wanted to talk about. Oh, yes. Cross stitching community. I know that Stitcherisa does this, and I'm going to do it just a couple. I'm just going to do a couple. I heard that Cross Stitch and Needlework magazine is no longer going to print their issues. That the winter 2016 is their last issue. Do you know how sad that made me? Like, are you serious? Why? Like, I know everything is going digital, but why couldn't you just have gone digital to to save money? Like, if that's what you were wanting to do. I enjoyed that magazine tremendously. That and the Cross Country Needlework was my favorite magazine. You showed me so many different designers and, and so many great projects to work on. And I really loved your magazine and I'm very sorry to see you go. Um, very sorry. Uh, next, I know that the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, they came out with a new uh, stitch along. Really wanted to do it. I really wanted to get your needle minder, but it's almost Christmas in about another month and a half. So I promised to keep my stash at a minimum until then. So I didn't even look. I'm like, I'm not even gonna look. Nope, nope. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, and I thought I'd show something fun for you guys. Um, this is our $5 Canadian money. Isn't that hilarious that you can actually see through? You can see me. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, and that's our parliament down there. And yeah, this guy is on the moon. But isn't that interesting? And we have our maple leaf. So I just thought, I don't know, I just thought I'd show you guys what our money looks like if you've ever not seen it before if that's our five dollars um so yeah so i'm gonna get going and show you guys what i have to do because i don't have a lot of time to film i've got to pick up my daughter tonight from youth um so this is what i've been working on um oh and i also i'm, I'm all out of whack here today i've also I'm going to be doing the giveaway, so I'm going to come on probably Thursday and just do a video for that, for this one. I mean, I think there's only three of you that entered, but you guys entered, so you have every right to it. So I will get my son or my daughter to help me, and we will pull, and we'll go ahead and uh, I'll give this away. I promised, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, and it comes from a smoke-free home. So we don't smoke here, so it's all nice and clean. Oh, You're gonna help me after. For what? To make, I'm gonna give this away. Okay. So I'm gonna show you what I've been working on. I've got just the tiniest bit of haul. And okay. So this is at our house by Lizzie Kate. I was working it in on it in my October 23rd video. I managed to get the top portion done. Oops. This is being done on an afghan material. And I got the top part done. I'm so sorry. And the, down the bottom I got the beehive done. So I've been enjoying working on this very much. Why? I think it's the curse of the itchy nose. Oh my goodness. Every time I watch one of you guys, you're always itching your nose. And then, like, I'm getting an itchy nose. Maybe there's something with um, shooting videos. I don't know. <laughs> but maybe. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to keep working on that. I've decided to revamp my, uh, my rotation. I have way too many projects on the go. I just, I can't do it. It's making me very anxious to have this many. I'm not that organized as I want to be, so it's making me anxious. So 
So I'm, I'm going to keep working on this because it's almost done and I just want to keep working on it. So, um, so next I've been working on, which I'm going to be putting it away, is the Let It Snow by Lizzie Kate. This is being done on a 28 count opalescent and it is a five and a half by 12 and a half. And I just started a little bit of this hat. And I don't have the picture to show you because it's on my iPad. I'm going to keep working on that one. Then next, I've been working on a Lucky Star. This is from the Just Cross Stitch 2013 issue, Christmas Ornaments. I've been doing this with a silk thread, and I've really enjoyed this. I'm going to keep working on it because it's almost done, and I really like it very much like it. I, I don't know, I really enjoyed stitching this because I love the way that the colors pop and the way that it kind of sits up on top of the material. I don't know if you can see that. But I really like it. So that I'm going to keep it out until I'm done because I enjoyed that. Um, so next, I went to the library after I shot this my last video. I decided on the whim, I'm just going to look and see what they have for cross stitch books. They had a Joan Elliott there. They had this Joan Elliott. Oh! <laughs> when I saw this, I freaked out. I asked the lady, I said, am I allowed to photocopy this? And she said yes, as long as I'm not photocopying it to sell. And I said, absolutely not, it's just being done for me. So I freaked out, photocopied it right away, and there she is. She is the medieval lady, and she is the one that's reading the book. She is dressed in pearls. She is dressed in layers of jewel-toned silks, lavishly embellished with gold and pearl beads and metallic threads. So I went by what the librarian said. She said it was okay. So, I mean, it was in the library. It's a library book. So, yeah. <laughs> so off I went and I got myself a 28 count even weave Luca, uh, Monaco. I almost said Lugana. I love this material. It's the best. I just, I love how it feels. I love how pliable it is. Um, so I got most of the skirt, well not most of the skirt, I got the first part of her skirt done along with the book and then her collarbone and some of her skin. Um, my thing is I want to work my way up and then I want, I'm sorry if there's any glare, I should, I'll take that out actually. I really love this um, little zippered pouch. I would love to get the one that they have on Etsy but after Christmas maybe I'll get some. Um, so I'm thinking that I'm going to work up and then I'm going to go over and across and then just work on that and then I'm going to work on a lot on the inside or I might just jump around. But that I am starting, um, I'm just going to leave it out and then whenever, you know, I feel like working on her, then she'll be at hand and then I can just pull her. But I've really enjoyed working on that. And that needle minder is Rick and Daryl from The Walking Dead. Can you see that? Oh, sorry. Glare, glare. <laughs> so I guess the first polls are closing. So I don't know what that means. Mm, I think there's still about a zero. So I don't think they've calculated them yet. Hmm. So yes, I was very happy to see that and to get that going and, and I had planned on buying it, um, but when I saw it, I thought, well, if I can just, you know, get it this way and save a little bit of money, I'll do it now. And the lady was super nice and said that I could print it out, so I'm pretty happy. Then um, I decided to stop in at my local value village, is what we call it, and I got um, just a tiniest bit of haul. Um, I found this Stony Creek Cross Stitch Collection, January, February 2001. It's really cute. It's got some cute little projects in here. 
Um, this is, yeah, from 2001. It says volume 13. Um, I wanted to show you really quick. This I think is really cute. Isn't it cute? It says needle worker, no, needle works. The art of hand, heart and hand create a treasured memory. I think that's so sweet. And yeah, I think I just saw that one that I really liked. Um, and of course, I love the cover, so I will be stitching that for sure. Not right now, though, in a little while. Then I found another Stony Creek one. This is April 2013. I don't really like that one in the front, but there's just a couple in here that I liked. Um, my idea is just to pull out a couple and um, just work on a few. This one here is really cute. I like that. Uh, let's see. Um, I should have had them tagged, but I really just wanted to come on here. I was so anxious to talk to all of you. Um, yeah, not a lot really in this one. I think I just picked it up just for a few. This next one I got is Paula Vaughn in Mother's Loving Hands. I've never had a Paula Vaughn before, so when I saw this, I had a chance to get it. It was regular uh, $8.45, but of course, when you're at the Salvation Army, or Value Village, you buy four magazines and you get one for free, so that was pretty good. The next one is a, a Jeremiah Junction, and it's this one, it's House uh, Hearts Full of Love. I really like that. I won't be doing that right now, of course, but I, I do enjoy that very much. The thing I love about Jeremiah Junction is I love their incorporation of quilts. They, they have quilts in a lot of their projects, and they have a lot of hearts. And they always have like um, a nice saying at the bottom, either... This one says, a house full of happiness and hearts full of love. I like that. I like that very much. Or they'll also have like a script, uh, scripture saying. This next one is uh, Cross My Heart. The only project that I like here is the lighthouse. I could not pass that up. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. I just love the the blues and um, that that's going to be a, a good project to work on. It'll take me a while to do that though. There are some of the other ones. Not really crazy about those, the little Nemo clownfish. Um, those are ones on the back. So, again, really the only one I got this one for was for for this. And this is from the cross stitch cupboard. I just noticed the the little tag. <laughs> I don't even know where the heck that is. I should look that up. Um, the next I found was Garden Time. Um, I've never heard of this company before, um, but I thought these were pretty cute. Uh, what they did was they took, yeah, I, I got kind of confused at first. I thought it was like this many, but what they did was they took this one and then they broke them up and you could do like with different ones for them. So um, it says garden time. Oh my gosh. I really need glasses. Earth laughs and flowers. <laughs> so and yeah that's it so not a long video um, just a little bit to come on and tell you what I where I've been oh and I also picked up another uh, DMC Monaco Charles Craft 28 count Lugana yeah that was that same as my other one Monaco Lugana, even weave, 28 antique white. I picked up another one. I got that from Michaels when they had their um, when they had their 50% off sale. So I just decided to pick that up. So I'm going to work on those ones for the week, and I'm also picked up because I want to get into the Christmas spirit. I also picked up my frosted pumpkin, Christmas town. Uh, I got. This far on it, this is a 
uh, 14 count and it's like a sparkly type. I love the way it sparkles. I thought it would look really nice and it would almost make it look like it's snowing. So that's as far as I got. So I'm going to keep working on that one because I love the Christmas spirit. So yeah, and I don't use, um, I don't use Q-snaps, but I really enjoy those grind guards that I've been seeing on Etsy. I really would like to work on though, like I would really like to get a couple I made. So that's about it for stitching. Um, I don't have a lot to show you in way of progress. Um, I am, I haven't, like I mentioned, I have ups and downs. Um, I've been doing pretty well since I've been taking my iron and B12 shot. Um, uh, so yeah, I've been, you know, pretty up and down and I just, I've been really busy at work and then I come home and I'm just really tired and sometimes even too tired to pick up my needle. Uh, I have to tell you though, when I don't pick it up, I miss it. It makes me feel weird. I almost feel like my day is not complete unless I've stitched something. So yeah, I'm so sorry for the short video. I promise my next one will be a little bit longer. Um, I can show you what I'm currently reading though. I am reading. I got these from the library. This is the graphic novel from The Walking Dead. This is issue volume 21, All Out of War. Uh, unfortunately, it's the one with Negan in it. But I was interested to see. Um, I hadn't really read this one, so I wasn't sure how Negan would play out. Um, so I wanted to pick this up and read it and kind of figure it out. And, I don't keep them hanging around because I really don't want my son to read them, so I've just been putting them away. Um, but then I got, so that was 21, so I found 22, which is a new beginning. And I found 23 whispers into screens, so that'll be the whisper people. And then I found 24 life and death. So there's still lots of story to tell on The Walking Dead, so I definitely assume it's going to be on for quite a bit. All right, so I that's it. I'm going to head out. Um, I've got to go clean up a bit, get my daughter, and then I want to just sit and chill out and maybe stitch before I go to bed. Um, so I hope everyone has a great night. Uh, I will be back on soon. My next video will be uh, the giveaway. I'm just going to go through all my my entry or my, my comments to make sure I don't miss anyone it's being my first time I want to make sure it's right um, and I'm over 200 subscribers I can't thank you enough yay <laughs> um, thank you thank you thank you I can't believe you find me interesting you know I'm just this little blonde little kind of shy girl but uh, I'm coming out of my shell a little bit more and I appreciate you guys all stopping in Thanks everyone. Keep stitching. Keep buying all your stash so I can be jealous. And uh, uh, <laughs> till next time. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.